by rake, by hand, and by search dog. They have been trained to um, alert when they when they sniff out a giant African land snail. The Florida Department of Agriculture is trying to round up as many giant African land snails as possible. They can completely devastate a crop like tomato or peppers. They eat more than 500 different types of plants and they feed on stucco. And now state experts are confirming what they suspected. The snails found in Pasco are carrying a harmful parasite. We did find rat lungworm in the last week. Rat lungworm can cause meningitis in humans. Another reminder to avoid touching the invasive snails. So far, the Department of Agriculture has found about 2,000 giant African land snails in communities around Newport Ritchie. A quarantine on the area remains in place. Residents are not allowed to move the snails or other items, including plants, soil, yard waste, and building materials out of the area. Because the snails do, um, they hitchhike on these materials, and so we just need to keep them contained in the geographic area. Experts believe they know how the snails ended up in this community. These white snails, these white fleshy snails are very popular in the pet trade. Um, someone probably had a population in an aquarium, got tired of them laying so many eggs and dumped them, and then all of a sudden we've got a population explosion. Eradicating them is time consuming. The snail search will continue for at least 17 months. And the Florida Department of Agriculture doesn't think these snails are migrating beyond the 200 meter quarantine zone. That's a, a good thing so far. But if you think you spotted one, reach out to the department. They'll come out and take a look. In Pasco County, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.